all right what is going on pats nation you guys already know who it is pages over here back with another video obviously this one is way different than what we are usually used to hopefully you guys can hear me obviously not in my studio not in my studio in any way shape or form i'm in florida i'll be back in the studio this week give you guys the professional regular in studio video so i do apologize for the lack of videos as of late of course again in florida on vacation not at home um but with breaking news unfortunately a lot of breaking news happening while i'm on vacation so again apologize for that but the new england patriots have released linebacker kyle van noy after just one year after one year of re-signing him after signing him to a two-year contract and i really liked that at the time if you guys have been around the channel for a little while you watched that video about a year ago when the patriots signed him you would know i was a big fan of bringing kyle van noy back especially signing him to more than a one-year deal because of the exact issues the Patriots were going to have a year later, AK right now, with the linebacker core, okay? Jawan Bentley, free agent. Dante Hightower, free agent. Jamie Collins, free agent. The only real veteran linebacker return that you could rely on was Kyle Van Noy. Now Kyle Van Noy is being released. So now you have Kyle Van Noy released, Jawan Bentley, Dante Hightower and Jamie Collins, all free agents. With the possibility of all four of those guys being out the door, at least a very good possibility of three of those guys being out the door, and all of those guys were starting linebackers for this team in 2021. And with the secondary issues, New England also has a lot of questions are arising on, okay, what is this Patriots team going to look like in 2022? Not just on the offensive side of the ball with trying to potentially add a wide receiver one and kind of fix some of the difficulties that we had during the 2021 season, give Mac Jones some more protection and some more weapons, but more specifically on the defensive side of the ball, which struggled big time, big time in the second half of the 2021 season, especially as we entered the postseason. The defense was a big reason that we started losing and now it looks like the secondary could be getting worse. The linebacker core is complete is going to be completely different than what it was compared to the 2021 season. So a lot of question marks are arising. Now, that brings the question mark forward of why did they even release Kyle Van Noy? And I know a lot of people are saying that this was a move that isn't surprising at all. But I have to disagree with that personally because, again, with all of the linebackers potentially leaving New England, you need some insurance there. You need that insurance policy. And unfortunately, the only guys the Patriots had behind Dante Hightower, um, Jamie Collins, and Jawan Bentley was going to be Kyle Van Noy. You have Cameron McGrone, the, the rookie from last year, who didn't play at all this year, barely even practiced due to that injury he suffered in Michigan. You also have Anthony Jennings, who has been a very, very limited piece ever since he was drafted about two years ago. Maybe he takes that step forward. I'm not confident in that play yet. The Patriots ultimately have a lot of young guys, a lot of youth at the linebacker position. And at this current time, before they hit free agency, before they hit the draft, the Patriots are sitting at a big question at the linebacker position, especially defensively. And you definitely need some veteran presence there at any position when it comes to football but especially at the linebacker position these young guys they need guys to learn off of to look up to to develop over time and again a lot of these guys still very young still very raw and with the patriots not having a lot of money in cap space it brings up the question what route are they really going to go to sign veteran players to get some experienced guys in this building with that being said, obviously Kyle Vinoy being released wasn't due to him playing bad, had an interception, a pass defended, five sacks. He definitely was underutilized last year, was not the same Kyle Vinoy that I remember. I don't believe that that was Kyle Vinoy's fault. I just do believe that that was a usage fault. Uh, but he did have just below, just below an 80 overall PFF grade in 2021. So Obviously not a bad player, still performing at a really good level. Whichever team decides to sign him is going to get a very good player. But unfortunately, the Patriots had to free up cap space. I didn't think that they were going to go the route in releasing a guy like Kyle Vano in order to do it. 
but they did. And with that being said, they will free up just under a total of $5 million by releasing Kyle Van Noy, ultimately meaning that the Patriots now currently sit at just under $10 million in available cap space. Of course, this is before any other moves that the Patriots will obviously be making. New England is definitely starting earlier than we're used to hearing um, with these roster moves, transactions, getting ready for free agency in the upcoming draft. I know a lot of people talking about maybe the Patriots have something brewing. You know, we're, we're hearing about Robbie Anderson. We're hearing Nelson Aguilar available for trade. Kyle Van Noy surprisingly being let go. Like I said, this one definitely does come as more of a surprise due to the need. Also, Kyle Van Noy signed that two-year contract just a year ago worth about $12 million. I thought for the value you're getting for Kyle Van Noy along with the need at the linebacker position that that money really wasn't that bad, especially because you have a guy that's experienced in your system also. And I made a video that you guys can check out all about how the Patriots can free up cap space in a multitude of different ways. I mean, extending Hunter Henry, extending Devon Godchow, extending Shaq Mason, restructuring Matthew Judon's contract, like so many moves that they can do to free up cap space without having to let go of someone as important as Kyle Van Noy. But maybe Belichick truly has something brewing up there in the laboratory that we don't know behind the scenes that will make sense months from now on why Kyle Van Noy ultimately was released but like I said earlier Kyle Van Noy officially surprisingly released by the New England Patriots he's now a free agent he's able to sign with the team at any point he's not a pending free agent meaning he doesn't have to wait till the new league year starts in a couple of weeks he can sign right now but that linebacker position for the Patriots gets even thinner Again, with three more of their starting linebackers expected to hit free agency in just a couple of weeks. Like always, though, I will have you covered for each and every single release, signing, trade, rumors, everything. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Videos are usually way more professional than this. So you don't got to worry. This isn't the whole channel. This is just kind of unfortunate circumstances right now. But I do appreciate you guys for watching. Like always, hit that subscribe button. Leave a like, comment in the comment section your reactions to this re release. But like always, I'll catch you guys in the next one and go Pats.